Okay, good day everybody. This is a perfect example of why I uh, moved the uh, loading press, the, the APP here, from over here, over here, after I got rid of my little press. This is one of my uh, little hobo, hobo arrow work stands that I made. And now it actually fits on my bench properly and I can use it better. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about this. Uh, it's just, like I say, it's a really simple little, just a wooden stand. Now originally it was, it formed part of one of the outriggers on my, my loading bench, uh, similar to what I have here, you know, with these, these three pieces, which I can remove and fold the arms in and then I can get that out of the way. But I don't use the uh, outrigger setup on the left hand side of the bench, so anyway, the other thing is the 2x4 adds a little bit of weight so it doesn't move around a, a whole lot. Anyway, it's just for uh, quickly working on arrows and I'll uh, see if I can get one loaded in here properly. We go underneath that. Oh, sorry. We go, we go under this one, and then we go under this one, and then I come back over here, and you just pull it tight, and then you can kind of lock it off with a, with a half hitch or something like that. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Anyway, that just keeps the arrow from bouncing out. Up front here, it keeps the broadhead or the arrow point from, you know, hitting your hand or something like that. Plus, it gives you a consistent length if you want to, you know, if you want to do some arrow cresting with colored marks or things like that. And it allows you to, uh, to spin the arrow if you want to work on it. Uh, sometimes I like to take... Uh, line and kind of wrap around the flu flu uh, in order to secure it a little better and uh, that's it hobo arrow work stand back up here and get you a full view one of my little archery jigs i've got a couple more here i'll show you here shortly have a great day mike out